Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today we're going to talk about a new casting for The Walking Dead Season 7. This has a lot of fans talking because apparently it's for a leader or leader-like role. Now, a lot of fans immediately jump the gun in a lot of articles, basically for clickbait, <laughs> because they'll get more clicks by saying... Maybe Alpha's getting cast. That's why you see Alpha and Rick in a thumbnail, because I'm using the actual picture that one of the articles used. But a lot of articles went with Alpha immediately. Now, if you're only watching the TV show, all you need to know is Alpha is another main character villain that we run into way after Negan. Uh, well, way after Negan's introduction, I should say. Now, the reason why a lot of fans are jumping immediately to Alpha is simple. Because right now, she's very relevant, and she's the newest villain, or the next villain, after Negan. So it seems to line up. However, the biggest problem is we seem to lean towards the most relevant things, um, no matter how much of a stretch that is. For example, in order for it to be Alpha, they would have to not only burn through so much material, but they would also have to do two very complex storylines side by side without letting either one sabotage the other, which in my opinion is almost impossible with the way they're structured. I say it's not Alpha at all. Now, I try to leave, you know, other possibilities open when we do these discussion videos. I try to stay away from definites. I know in the past I've been wrong a couple times making definite responses, uh, like when Negan's going to show up, for example. Uh, however, I feel justified because I was looking at it, in my perspective, a completely different way. I thought No Way Out would be a lot bigger. I thought they would have incorporated more of an uprising, and I mean a lot more. Uh, and I know it was very brief in the comic, but in the TV show, they literally adapted that in maybe 25 minutes worth of actual footage, <laughs> you know? Which the uprising came after No Way Out. They put it before, they put it in the premiere. And if you took all the pieces with that character, I'm just guessing, but it's probably only about 20 minutes. So I thought that would be developed into a storyline that would run for multiple episodes and it would also be incorporated into a whole bunch of different stuff. So bottom line, I try to stay away from definites because the possibility is always there. They could be thinking, okay, we're going to remix the whispers in this light and we're going to bring them in here, whatever. And I'm talking about Alpha, uh, the leader, and her group called the whispers. So if I look at this... As, and again, I'm not going to put any spoilers or details here that are heavy. I'm only doing this topic because a lot of fans are talking about it. Normally, I stay away from all the news, all the leaks, all the spoilers that is not official. If AMC or Skybound or anyone connected like Entertainment Weekly or The Hollywood Reporter, they will run exclusive stories exclusive information or images given to them or casting information given to them by the show and the reason I don't do that is specifically because a lot of it some t not a lot of it sometimes it, they only want it to be revealed in the trailer like imagine Eze Ezekiel that was a complete surprise right up to the trailer the majority of the fan base was saying I wonder if we'll see Ezekiel but if we leaked that let's say I leaked it you know a month or two months in advance on this channel it would have stole that reveal away so that's why I don't that's one of the main reasons why I do not follow uh, leaked information or even rumors or I don't dig deep when it comes to casting because if they want to surprise us, maybe in the middle of the season, they want to shock us with this one casting, I would like it for it to be a surprise. You know what I mean? If it's something that's, you know, the information's easily put out to the public, fine, we'll cover it. Like this video. Now, so in other, the wor in other words, I'm not going to go in-depth and give you every little piece. If you want to go on your own and research, that's fine. Go ahead. But the basic basic amount of information is simply that a character was cast that's for I guess a female I thought it was a male or a female but it was cast and it was described as someone who is similar to the character of Alpha being that she's independent she has a poker face or he or she they have a poker face and I'm thinking this is for someone who's connected with the communities they could lump in another community that's not from the comic that's a smaller community, they could maybe make that person someone who's from an outpost 
from another community or tie it into uh, the kingdom or the hilltop. That's the way I'm leaning. I don't believe it's Alpha and I don't believe it has anything to do with her or the Whispers. I look at it like we're just going into the storyline where we're seeing new communities. So if we are looking at someone who has similar characteristics to Alpha, which are very vague in general, if you look at all the other cast members, like there's other characters that, you know, speak with a poker face. You know what I mean? A lot of times, depending on the situation, lots of characters do that. I know Carol is one easily you could pick out that uses a poker face a lot because she's usually undercover you know what I mean especially recently anyhow so just because it matches alpha pretty decent you know I'm not leaning towards that I think it has to deal with the communities and I'm leaning more towards the kingdom only because we've already seen a nice chunk of the hilltop and I think because the kingdom is the next reveal that we're gonna get for the communities I think it would make more sense that this other character would be tied in there somewhere hell maybe they could this could be an important character and they're actually remixing this new character with ezekiel in a romantic way since in the comic book ezekiel got with michonne and in the tv show michonne is with rick maybe a lot of fans are thinking ezekiel will get with carol or sasha or somebody else maybe ezekiel's going to get with a new character someone who's not from our group i think that's an interesting direction it's a possibility and i'm going to leave my mind open Open. But as far as this topic, I think it's it's done unless we get any other information. You guys can let me know what you think. Do you really think this is Alpha or someone from the Whispers? And keep in mind, uh, it makes more sense for a time skip before we get to Alpha because these people, I don't think they would develop to that extreme in just a year of an outbreak or a year and a half. I think it would take a couple years to get where they are. I mean, that's an important aspect, an important part of who they are. Anyway, we're not going to dive in too deep here, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. What do you think about this new casting? If you don't have all the information, trust me, it's not a lot. It's simply a really small description of someone with a poker face, someone like this and this and this, and you really need to stretch your imagination to figure out who it is because it's not something so easy as, oh, that's Negan. That's easily Negan. That was an easy one to pick out because, you know, it, it fit the storyline perfect where we were going to be at, and it was a nice, accurate description that was, you know, dead on being Negan, so it's not that simple to pick out as far as a character from the comic that's in the storyline right now. Or I could be missing something. Let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.